But we did also have some game sales on Nintendo's side, which uh, they're pretty good. All right. So the, the best selling game is still a Wii U game with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But I think it's time is limited at the top because I think Animal Crossing is going to overtake it. Animal Crossing at 31.18 million units. Jesus. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is at 33, and that makes a lot of sense why OJ says if Mario Kart 9 drops, the Switch is going to have one of its little spikes in terms of system sales. Uh, yeah, that's that's going to be crazy. I can't believe Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Okay, so Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and with the Wii U game next to it is over 40 million units between the two of them. Mm -hmm. That is ridiculous. It's good Mario Kart. I mean, just Mario Kart's one of the most popular franchises at all. Like, that's it. I guess well, it's just baffling to me because I like that game and I've played that game a lot, but best selling Switch game, something about that, it just doesn't sit right. I mean, I think it's just that I, I like Breath of the Wild so much more and Mario Odyssey so much more that I'm like, really? Mar Mario Kart, really? Well, I mean, Mario Kart 9, right? Maybe they bring in a lot of other IPs from within Nintendo and they turn it into like a Smash Bros thing. That would be pretty cool. But like Mario Kart 9, either way, even if it was Mario Kart 8 with just more tracks and a bigger you know, more gimmicks and stuff to it would just, it would just sell really well anyway. So Super Smash Bros. Ultimate 22.85 million units. That'll keep, that'll keep rolling along. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. There you go, Max 21.45 million units. Hell yeah. Pokemon Sword and Shield, just over 20 million units. By the way, that is uh, the, the only other Pokemon game, you have to go back to Gold and Silver. Gold and Silver to get uh, another Pokemon duo that went above 20 million units. So, it was a successful, yeah, this was, it was a successful yeah. boycott for Sword and Shield. Yeah, yeah. This was they the did Pokemon, it. Sent they really, sell 20 million. really taught them their lesson. That they, they brought that company like, to their keep, knees. Keep, keep boycotting us, please. I need another seven yachts, please. God. Yeah, so Pokemon Sword and Shield rolled along there. And you know what? If Diamond... All right, Jordan, let me ask you this. Yeah, what if, up? If Diamond and Pearl, if that is real, and that is coming this holiday... Uh huh. Does, does it sell more or less than Sword and Shield's lifetime right now at twenty point three five? That's hard uh, with remakes. Um, mm -hmm. I I think there's a fifty fifty shot on that. I think, you know what? I think it could do more. And here's I'm going more. more. I'm going, I'm going more. more. It's it it's more. on it's on the Switch now, right? So we're, it's a we're already game. assuming it's not a Let's Go version of itself. It's a full yeah, version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Classic Pokemon. I think yeah. it'll it'll do yeah. more because um, not just the status of these th th this series, the Gen Four specifically, and why people are excited for it. That's only going to help it. Uh, this is the 25th anniversary. The hype around Pokemon is bigger than ever right now. This is the biggest boom of Pokemania, outbeating 2016's 20th anniversary and the original Pokemania back when Pokemon first launched. Pokemania, brother. Uh, this is, um, yeah, I think that the, the amount of Switch owners, the amount of people who are waiting for the next best Pokemon game, they want all these features that Sword and Shield didn't have to be in this next game. And if they are there, this this could be the biggest Pokemon game, absolutely. And it will be a remake, which would be I mean, crazy to see. Historically, the remakes sell less than the new mainline Ooh, entries. Historically, historically, but they, well, the, there's something about the Switch that even Pikmin can sell millions of copies. Well, wait a minute. So, hold, hold up here. This is the. I think they said this is the best-selling Pokemon game, Sword and Shield, since uh, Gold and since Gold, Gold and Silver. Silver right? I yeah. think w with Diamond and Pearl, that is a different beast you know why diamond and pearl was so unique because it was the first time that nintendo with the pokemon company really delved into online and in my opinion for what the ds was they nailed it like it was phenomenal online it was there was voice chat there was trading there was, it was the biggest thing to want. own on the ds at the time yes like, there was no other game even if you think that oh but there has to be no pokemon diamond and and pearl and then by extension when platinum came out were the biggest things uh, it, at the it, time it was great that's it, how it was. Work. It was so good. It was so good, and I think that that nostalgia for Di Diamond and Pearl is my I favorite. I have that generation. nostalgia, right? Like this yeah. whole, like the last few months, I've been like really craving to play them. So yes. I hope that there is some remakes coming this year because I've been really wanting to revisit. If, if uh, they're high quality, region. like let's say they they actually make the graphics like much better or it's much improved over what they did, you're yeah. not gonna have the the open world. I don't think they're gonna do the the wild area. I, I don't think they will. If they just make it a straight up remake, I've heard, of all the features. I've heard rumors. 
rumors both ways uh, okay. that, that there isn't or that I've, the, the biggest one, which I believe it to see, you know, see it, I'll believe it, right? That the whole world, the whole map is like a big open zone, no matter where okay. you go, well, it's open. Well, wasn't that would the, be crazy. Wasn't that it, was in the DLC. Yeah, that, that was, was in the DLC. Yeah. yeah. But this is, a whole, this is the whole region. That's how they outsell uh, so. it, George. They don't release two versions. They release three, and they throw platinum in there, too. See, with the remakes, they never really... Right. Do I a would, third with the right only by platinum. I don't give a crap. About, I just want plat. Screw because everything else. They'll sell three versions of Jordan instead of two. Hey, you know, however many they make, it's fine. I'm down. <laughs> I'm talking uh, Diamond and Pro could do. And, and also the Switch, one more thing with this the Switch has a much, it has a bigger install base. We're two years later now. Yep. The install base is bigger. Oh. You have a lot more fans. Yeah. You got a lot more kids jumping on. This I think year Diamond alone, and Pro could do better. Right now, the, the 25th anniversary will sell everything to the, the fullest extent for Pokemon right now. That's so why you can't I, find cards on shelves if you're. Also, uh, we know it's going to sell better because Evan will buy it, and Evan doesn't buy a lot of Switch mm. titles. So if he buys mm. a Switch title, it's probably going to do numbers. <laughs> I get it from my cousin. Evan Pro guy? No, I was platinum, but yeah, it was well, okay. the same thing. He's in on platinum. There, yeah, but say. it's not one of the ones I want to go back to right now. I don't think. Like, I don't know. I'll get it from my cousin. Where he'll love. Pokemon he'll love the shit out of it. I would love to see. I don't even. Not necessarily. Like they don't have to remake these, right? Like I would just take a, a HD upscale of them, uh, but a dual pack of Colosseum and XD Gale of Darkness. Ooh, uh, yeah. I don't know if those games want to return to those, but yeah, that'd be I, nice. I know, I'd be down. Yeah, those, those games I'd be down. still hold up. And if, yeah. if, like that's what I'm saying. Just if you ported them, like and you can port it, make a dual pack for forty dollars, still a good deal. I'm I'm down. So, I'm down. We also had Super Mario Odyssey at 20.23 million, which means that the Switch has six titles, currently over 20 million units, first party. That's crazy. That that's is, nuts. yeah, that, that is, that's kind of out there. That's, that's pretty wild. Super Mario Party is at 13.82 million units. That's fucking nuts. Yeah, that is, isn't that crazy? Your, your favorite game, that, John? I saw that over. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, garbage. Who, They're who shoveling garbage. <laughs> They, people keep buying it, and Nintendo refuses to go beyond version 1.00. They're done. They're done. <laughs> they, they're just gonna. They're gonna release the next one. That's the. That's the DLC. It's oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sixty dollar version of it. This. It's, yeah. It's Super Mario Party Two. They're not even gonna come up with a title for it. There's gonna be two on it. Now you can play 15 like, mini games online like instead of the 10. Same box art, and it'll still sell 13 million units. I hate it. This is Hell World. I can't believe they didn't do anything with this game. That blows my mind. Well, maybe we'll have a new one shown this year. You know, you know. I'll say this though: I think they were probably <laughs> surprised at how well it did because you have to remember they thought Animal Crossing was going to sell like lifetime, like thirteen to fifteen million units. That's so, what do they think that they thought with with Mario Party? If if they thought Animal Crossing was only going to get fifteen million, I wonder what they thought with well, Animal or with, with with Mario Party. If they thought I Animal Crossing was only going to get with this one, they see how well it sold, so there's a demand for it, and I hope that they go back and say, okay, you know what, maybe we'll put. We'll put a little more than a year into the development on this one. <laughs> uh, that's my hope is that they actually like do a bit more with the next one that is obviously going to come out on the switch. So 